The A1C test indicates average blood glucose level over the last two or three months. You may also hear this test referred to as the hemoglobin A1C, HbA1c, or glycohemoglobin test. Dr. Patel, can you tell us how the A1C test works and what the results mean? Absolutely, Dr. Reynolds. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which is used to carry oxygen around the body. Glucose will slowly attach to hemoglobin depending on the concentration of glucose in the blood. The A1C test measures the percentage of hemoglobin in red blood cells that has been glycated or sugarized. The average life cycle of a red blood cell is 100 to 120 days, so measuring how glycated the hemoglobin is can give an accurate picture of average blood glucose levels over time. Higher blood glucose levels will result in a higher percentage of hemoglobin with sugar attached. Generally, an A1C level below 5.7% is considered normal. An A1C between 5.7 and 6.4% usually indicates prediabetes, and an A1C of 6.5% or higher indicates diabetes. However, there's no one-size-fits-all A1C target, and patients should discuss an appropriate target for them with their providers. Normally, a provider will perform this test on two separate occasions or use it in combination with other blood glucose tests to confirm a diagnosis of diabetes. Because it measures an average over time, the A1C test doesn't require fasting beforehand, and blood can be drawn for the test any time of day. This makes the A1C test more convenient than other blood glucose tests. However, it's important to note that some people, such as those of African, Mediterranean, or Southeast Asian descent, may have a less common type of hemoglobin called a hemoglobin variant. In these cases, an A1C test can give false results. Other conditions can also affect A1C results. These conditions can include anemia, heavy bleeding, iron deficiency, kidney failure, and liver failure. The time of year can also affect a person's A1C. For example, during winter, A1C test results might be slightly higher than in summer. Providers should take all these factors into consideration when administering the A1C test and may need to rely on other blood glucose tests for accurate diagnosis.